a just random group of things. And uh, now we're on to Teardown, because that's what I feel like playing right now. Because uh, we played Bug Snacks yesterday, and I need to have a little bit of time between things. That way people can actually, like, you know, see the VOD and all that jazz. Teardown. I think the trick with this game is to not get stuck on a level for, like, two hours. And just try and shave off .1 of a second, you know? I think that's what makes these streams good, is when I'm not doing that. Got stuff to talk about to y'all. At y'all, tonight. Things that I need to say at you with words. I got things. I got stuff and things to say. Is anyone surprised that the first thing I want to talk about is Warhammer? I was playing Warhammer the other day. Because that's what I do for fun. Right? I'll tell you a story. It ends in an awkward ending. The claims from Gordon keep coming in. I'm not new to this game, but I suspect he's trying to pull a trick on us. I think the best solution would be if he took his problems elsewhere. If he could get rid of the insurance papers. Like, poof. Like that, he'd be gone. He keeps those papers in his safe. Top-notch stuff. Very sturdy and virtually unbreakable. Trust me, he bought them on our recommendation. But they have one weakness. They're not waterproof. Go to Gordon's place and dump the safes in the water. You should smudge up the papers. One thing that you should be aware of is the safes are equipped with a moisture sensor alarm that will trigger when wet. Why make it... So that way it would know when... It's wet and then not void house thank you for the four months of support a lot of people resubbed bucks the star thank you for the 14 months of support cap caprice suck thank you for the uh sub karmic attacks thank you for the eight months of support morbid safety thank you for the 25 months of support debabo thank you for the eight months of support snow dragon thank you for the 21 months of support flambidus thank you for the 40 months of support Savinia, thank you for 14 months of support. Peace stands. Peace stands. PT stains. Thank you for the five months of support. Uh, non, uh, thank you for the gift sub. Red lore, thank you for the 17 months of support. Okay, I've gotten everyone now. And now I can click back into the window and it'll actually run. Okay, cool. So, it is raining. Does that mean that the sensor will go off as soon as I get it outside? Are we talking like, as soon as it goes outside, it will be a problem? Because that could be a problem. Is it wet under here? It's not wet under here. Okay. Well, let's just, uh... Let's just check that real quick. Let's literally find one of these saves. So, what do we got? We got multiple saves. And they are all kind of in a line. I'm going to assume, I'm going to just throw one out a window real quick. See if, uh, you can't collapse the entire villa, unfortunately. Okay. Might be possible to jam it in one of these things. All right. Is there a pool out there? There is. Okay. Can I move this thing? Okay, I can. All right. Gonna real quickly check this theory. Oh, I need to change the, uh... Twitch title. Not tear down. Tear down. So I was playing Warhammer the other day, right? Trying a new list with Magnus, right? Playing a guy who's playing Necrons. He had the Silent King. Okay. And we're having a good game. We'd been playing for a few hours. The alarm goes off for me to feed the cats. Alright. Are you going to go off? Okay, yeah. Cool. So it will go off if the rain goes off. Lugnutto, thank you for the eight months of support. 
Um, all right, so that's good to know. That means that I need to uh, get it somewhere where I can destroy it easily, quickly, rather than, you know, just throwing it out the door. So anyway, we'd been playing for a bit. We had some good, like, banter going on, you know. I said Magnus did nothing wrong. He said, well, he did a couple things wrong. And I'm like, you bastard. We're going to get into this shit, right? So we'd been playing for a bit. And so I get up to go and get the, the cat stuff. And I'm like, all right. He's going to finish out, like, his shooting phase. And once he gets done with his shooting phase, I'm going to pull a trick on him. He doesn't realize it, but Magnus is 2.8 inches away from his guys, right? That means that I can heroically intervene. That's a pretty fucking big deal. That's a pretty fucking big deal, because that means that Magnus can get involved with the Silent King, and the Silent King's half dead from something else earlier, and I just cast Death Hex on him, and I'm realizing now that no one actually gives a shit about this conversation, but I'm saying it anyway. So I know that he's, he's exactly 12 inches away from my demon prince and he's 2.8 inches away from magnus so i can heroically intervene and immediately murder him just run up to him kill him right where is the pool i don't want to break windows if i don't have to okay so it's over there so i gotta like get this downstairs shit so i'm like all right now when we get back like, uh, go ahead and, go ahead and, uh, you know, roll your dice. Tell me how it goes. I'll be right back. Uh, I'm going to feed the cats. And he's like, totally understand. I got cats. No worries. I'm like, cool. That's a bummer. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. That's money. Um... So I come back, right? And he does his shooting. He shoots my demon prince, which I thought I hid, right? And, uh, but okay, fine. He shoots him with the Silent King. Okay, it's pretty damaging, but he ends up rolling real bad. And I, I roll some ridiculous saves, but it's like, it's okay. You know, he got pretty good. He got real lucky on his shots, right? So I'm like, okay, whatever. At least I saved all my, my shots. I shouldn't have. And then we go into the, the charge phase. And I'm like, do you want to declare any charges? And he's like, no. I'm like, cool. I'm going to heroically intervene uh, Magnus. And then I look. Magnus is somehow five inches away. I'm like... Now hold up now. When I left, he's 2.8 inches away. Oh, right, the floor is destructible. Thank you. I'm like, hold up now. Where, uh... What, uh, what happened there, man? Turns out that he, uh, he just straight up... ...moved shit. And it was such a fucking bummer. So I was like, dude, we have been playing for like two hours. Are you telling me that you've been cheating every single time I got up to go to the bathroom or whatever? Like, I've got this guy triangulated. I know he's 12 inches away from my demon prince. I know he's, you know, uh, 2.8 away from Magnus. And then suddenly he's not. What's going on with that? What's going on with my body? Why am I jittering? And he's like, dude, I'm, I'm real sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm like, no. Like, you weren't going to bring it up. I, I called you out on it, and that's the only reason we know, man. What is that? And I, I started with, why did you move him? And then it dawned on me, like, dude, you fucking cheated? Like, you, you literally cheated so that way you could get shots on guys that you shouldn't have been able to? It was such a bummer, man. I don't know. So now I'm just like, oh, fuck. You know? 
Yeah, and then he sent me a message later, right? He sent me a message later, and he's like, I'm real sorry. I, I, I meant to move him, and uh, that's, that's why. And I'm like, look, you didn't even tell me, man. You didn't even tell me that when I got back. You immediately went into shooting that guy. Oh, it's fine. It's literally just something for me to be talking about that's like... Yeah, and it's not... And he was like, I'm practicing for a local tournament. And I'm like, bro. And I was helping him out with like, okay, this is how this phase works. You can, you can do real... A lot better in this phase if you just do such and such. And if you do such and such, then you can, you know, maximize this unit's potential. And, you know, oh man, you know, this move. This is... A, yeah, practicing. Practicing. This is on tabletop sim. And I'm like, my dude. You do do better if you cheat. True. But you know what? You're an asshole. And it was just, I don't know. It sucks because we had, like, really good banter going for a while. I mean, I do have the almighty cheat catcher, but I mean, I did literally have that measured out because I was like, Silent King doesn't have an invuln. I can just uh, go ahead and... The scroll wheel actually increase the moving speed? I want to like... Can I do something where I like make this move easier? I don't really have anything that like makes this like a sled, do I? Do I have anything that I can drag this with? I think I want to, like, can I open this? Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, wait. It's, like, right there. Huh. Okay, cool. Easy. I mean, I probably could have done this from the third floor. Now knowing that it's, like, right here. Spray paint a dick. You're right. Sorry, guys. I almost fucked up. I got so invested in my story about Warhammer that I forgot to stream the proper way. Which means adding a dick. It's kind of a weird dick. Like the guy who keeps giving me these missions. Kind of a weird dick. It's short. It's crooked. The balls are tiny. There's like a lot going on with that dick. Or not a lot going on with that dick. I'll be honest. It's like kind of a pathetic dick. Sad. Where where upstairs was this again? It was right here. Hmm. All right. So there's a pool right here. I think I might restart just because it would be less work to try and drag it this far than it would be to drag it the other way. Now, it does have a thing where it's going to, like, be covered. Like... I'm curious if, like, I put, like, a umbrella of planks out. Will this work? Can I, like, make something that blocks the rain? Am I hiding from the rain here? Am I wet? Are you? Can I make a little lean-to? Fuck around and find out. I think that's what we're doing. I can't tell if I'm being rained on or not. It's really hard to tell. Am I? Is there water? I think this is safe. I think this is dry. Like, look at it. Look, I don't see raindrops in here.
Alright. We're gonna try it with the small safe. Actually, hold up. Can I... I mean, this would be kind of dumb. This would be kind of very dumb. But can I... Well, not like that, but like... I see. So the answer to that is is no. Uh, okay. Like, is this gonna work? Oh, there's a balcony above me. Uh... Go, go down, go down. Go down. Eat. Okay. to confirm. Huh. Well, that makes that incredibly easy. Where are the other ones? Like, that makes that incredibly easy. Couldn't you push the safe out the window? I could, yeah. No, I absolutely can, and I plan on doing that, but that means that I can move the the safes between buildings. Like, that's huge. Like, my cock. Like, essentially, I can't fail unless if I fuck up moving things? Alright, so where, where are the other safes? So this safe is right here. Cool. Is there a forklift? Holy shit. There was a for oh, look at it. Look at that. Look at that little bitch. Oh, and this thing? Oh man, look at that. Look at that. Flatbed? Mm-hmm. Uh, that that right there, my friend, is an answer. That's what that is.
Well, this makes this incredibly easy. Also, I haven't drawn a dick yet. Not on this save. Look at that. That is already a weird looking penis. It's gonna be flopsy. But like, also unimpressive. And then it's, it's, it's dribbling a bit. I'm getting experimental with my cocks. Shit. Why, uh... Why are you, like, falling through? It's kind of, uh... It's kind of a problem that you fall through it. But you clip into it as well? What? 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 Okay, sure. Um, oh, you're too heavy. Something lighter. Something lighter. Uh, no. Uh, something light. Something light that's not explosive. Something light. Something light that's not explosive. Something light that's not explosive. Light. It's really a bad joke. Let's not congratulate me on that one. It's. Alright. So. I hate how that collides. So that, that works. This works. Okay. Sure, game. That works. Alright. So then. And then we just, uh, can we turn it? Okay, cool. And then right here, this goes right there. And then that goes right there. And then that goes right there. All right. Okay. Test run. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, test run. Now you might be saying like, how, how, how do I get it under here? Well, my friends, I've already thought of that. I've already thought of that. And the answer is... Troll physics. Hmm. Probably should have saved before doing that. Oh. Oh. It's not what I expected to have happen. Okay. Well, whatever. Let's just see it. There's like a shipping container you can like drag it around. I see. We might want to just put this, the shipping container on this. That might be easier. This, um... <laughs> yeah, let's uh let's restart the mission one more time. Is there one that's already in a truck like I don't have to like that? Okay, cool. I can get that up on there. What are the rules on backseat gaming? Don't um just don't. <laughs> Alright. So I need the crane over there. And I need the, uh... The, the other thing. 
right? I should probably go around, but that would take time. And I'm not really about spending a whole bunch of time on going around and shit like that. So we're just going to take the most direct route that doesn't involve me yeeting myself off a cliff. There we go. There we go. There we go. We need to draw a dick again. We need to make sure we draw a dick again. All right. So this shipping container can be put on the back of the thing that I was just driving, right? That's the concept here. could draw a dick on the crane. I could make it dynamic. Oh, man. I like the way you think, man. All right. Check this out. Real hard to see, but it's worth. It's like 2D. Dynamic cock. Damn it. Uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. And then there's the head. That works, right? I can't change the color of it, unfortunately. Worst case scenario, if I can't get it in there, I could just drag it with the crane. Seems a little bit more chaotic and probably not going to work, but that is an option. Okay. Okay. And we can patch up any holes that we put in this thing with, uh... Ooh. Oh, that's not good. Maybe the trick is to move the crane not towards it, but yeah, okay, hold up. All right, let's do it the other way around. Let's uh let's let's drag that truck to the crane and go from there because uh it seems like i'm gonna do a shit ton of damage to it like that and uh that doesn't seem ideal that yellow truck by the shipping container is good too is it big enough it seems like it's real high up and it'd be kind of hard to get some of those heavier ones in it How hard is it to get the flatbed down there? Not hard, I was just being lazy, and I think that's the trick, is I need to bring the flatbed to the crane, rather than the crane to the flatbed. You can lower the bed on it. I see. How much can you lower the bed on the thing? We need to make sure we reinstall the dick. God, it looks real phallic now. Like, when you look at it... Alright. If we don't draw a dick on every map, then we've just failed this game entirely. There we go. I mean, you know. Good. Alright. Let's, uh, let's bring the flatbed over. Oh, 
Oh, wow. We're going for some, like, artsy-fartsy kind of dick here. I'm just gonna do it with just the keypad this time. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh. You need to get that one checked out. All right, there you go. <laughs> the old arrow-shaped sh penis. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Quick save now, you're right. Quick save now so we don't have to redo all of this. Quick check on how low the bed goes. If it just leans, that doesn't really help me any. You know? Like, we could probably use this to get a couple of them into position, which would be nice. Like, it might be easier to move one if I can drive it out of a building. Like, that big heavy one, I could drop into that, then use the crane to get it into the, uh, the other one or something. Or maybe just, like, I don't know. So now we back this up. Okay. But yeah, I was talking about it just a minute ago. I've been, uh... I spent a good deal of the day just listening to, uh... Bardcore. Because I was, I was trying to figure out... Shit, fuck me with a rake. I was trying to figure out how to, um... God, that's a big hole. I was trying to figure out what the next Town of Nowhere like is like gonna have aesthetically for music. And uh, I was like, well, I want some kind of medieval music, so I need to learn how to make medieval music. And, um... You could raise the container and then back the truck under it. What a good idea that's not what I was thinking. Did I buy a hurdy-gurdy? I, I only started thinking about it today, and hurdy-gurdies are fucking expensive. Do you know how much a hurdy-gurdy is? A lot. A lot of monies. Like, a good one. That's how I know what a dulcimer was. Because I started looking up what dulcimer means. Yeah, fuck that. And, uh, I was like, oh, it's that instrument. I was like... Well, that'd be good for the next town of nowhere like because that's like that's just kind of what I was going for oh fuck the there's a safe in here I didn't even know that is that one of the required ones hmm hmm so this wanton act of destruction was actually maybe helpful anyway a cheap hurdy gurdy is a thousand dollars not counting the shitty ones you know? So it's like, that's kind of a lot. Uh, especially for like... It's also kind of a bitch to keep, like, take care of and stuff, apparently. So it's like, not an ideal instrument. Um, it makes a cool sound. They've got that puzzle one you can make. But apparently sounds like ass. Shit. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, whatever. There are, like, libraries of things. But I like the idea of playing the instruments if I can. Just because... I don't know. I got, like... Ocarinas and flutes and I've got a kind of twangy sounding acoustic guitar. I can make it work. Got a bahram. Which is like old school drum. 
just have it for some reason. Shit! Shit! It's okay, we can patch it up. We can patch it up. I can patch the holes. I can patch the holes. I can patch the holes. Yeah, the hole's on the bottom. I don't need to patch the hole now. Problem solved. Shit! I mean... All right, all right. This time I'm going to try and grab it by the middle. Just meat spin that shit around a bit. Here, give me one sec. Abby was being a scream, and I was like, you, you can go hang out with your mom. She was just screaming at the door, being like, hey, can I, can I go in? I'm like, yeah. So I had to go and move the cat. Abby's a good girl, but sometimes she scream. When she scream, I'm trying to do things. Most of the time. She usually doesn't scream when I'm like, just like, not trying to do things. All right. The problem right now is that this thing is kind of faced the wrong way. And so if I want to get the truck under there, can I, I can't even begin to think about picking that up. So I guess I could come at it like this. Just not drive it into the lake. It's kind of on a hill, which makes this a problem, too. I'm going to do a quick save because I feel like I've got a pretty good situation. <sighs> it's scary though. It's real scary. Like I can't guide it under there. Yes. No. Yes. Scooped. Okay. Um.
I will take it going in sideways. Don't take that out of context. Um, I will accept that. Okay, hold up. We need to like reinforce this connection a bit. So it doesn't try and like run off on us. All right, there we go. Quick save. Why is it, uh, why is it leaning like that? Okay, cool. Got it. Alright, now that it's, like, level, I'm gonna connect it at the bottom. Am I winning? I am winning. A lot. God, the planks are so fucking OP. They're so good. Look at that. Yeet! Alright. Now let's see. There's one in there, it's not required. The ones that are required are there, there, and there. I don't make more money for doing them. It just makes me feel good if I do all of them. And for the sake of this not being the longest stream ever, like some of these have been, I'm going to go for just the required ones. Okay, I can't drive that fast. I might be able to get that one I was just at by just like... Oh, that's a blowtorch. That's worse. trying to put out the fire with a blowtorch. <laughs> Oops. ramp now <laughs> innovation luxury support all right it's ramp now i'm 
Okay, cool. Got it. Got it. Got it. There it is. Good. Good, it's fine. Shit. I feel like this would be easy to 100% if you don't wreck the cargo container. You might be right. You might just be right. Everyone's mad at me for this, but... can run a multiplayer ad on your next ad break. Actually, what does that mean? I mean, like, I could win it quickly and easily. Or I could do this. That's, that's what I've realized, is I could do all of these. I'm fairly confident in my ability. I could win all of these, you know? But it might just take a little bit too long. And it might not be interesting if I do it perfect. So it's like, is that good viewing? Is that what I should do? Or should I just accept that, like, this will take a while and not do it? Or should I accept that it takes a while and that everyone needs to suck it up? See, that, that second one sounds worse. I'm having fun with this game, but also I want chat to have fun too. Got anything to shit talk about? Well, I told you about that guy cheating. And I told you about how I started learning Bardcore. Which is, you know, interesting. Um, that is weird time signatures. 3-4. What is that? Give me like a 2-4 or a 4-4, but what is this 3-4? What? We watched Vinny shave, try and shave three seconds off a level for like an hour straight. Yeah, that's the level. That's the game. That's the game. Oop. Interesting. It can be wet for a minute. It's quick save. I mean, I'm being be real. Uh, it's not ideal that there's a, uh, a gaping hole in it, but, you know... I don't know, I just don't give a shit. New plan, new plan. Shit. The original plan, but we have all the safes in one location. Shit. So oh, shit. Got going a little too fast there. I'll be real, I don't know where I am. Okay.
Ooh. I think I just prop surfed that. Nice and easy. Good. All right. Now we get the next one. Yeah, it seems like a shitty safe system that it detects wet. But it can't do anything about the contents being wet. It's like whoever designed this realized that being wet is bad for it. But did nothing to protect the thing other than just like... We'll set off an alarm if it gets damp. Because random water damage isn't something that people normally deal with on a daily basis. Why not just make a safe that's immune to water? You suck at making safes. Just wait until it stops raining. Well, he'll come back home. Cool, whatever. Alright, is that off now? There we go. It's on fire a bit. It's fine. Whatever. It doesn't matter. Cool. How does it feel to be... Not one of the streamers playing Cyberpunk. No one in my Discord seemed, like, excited about it. So it's just like, well, if no one's excited about it and it's bad, apparently, then whatever. I'm definitely leaving money on the floor, but I'm here to, I don't know, have people have fun? And if you guys aren't going to have fun watching me play a game, then what's the point, right? If those two are tied together, when I yeet one out the window, then I'll yeet both out the window. If you were streaming it, I'd not watch it. Sure, yeah, exactly. And that's the problem, too. Like, I want people to watch my streams, hot take. Like, that's why I stream... I don't know if you guys get this, but, like, part of why I stream is because I like it when people watch, you know? I know, it's weird. All right, where is the, uh, where's the pool? All right, so if the pool is here, then does that mean that... Safe is right there. Okay, cool. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. But we're going to give it a go. Fucking sack of shit is huge. What about this? Would I pick penis 1 or penis 2? I haven't seen what penis 1 or 2 looks like. You know? So I don't know. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag this over to the hole that I'm going to make. And then I'll dig a hole out from under it. So I can make it exactly the size it needs to be and no bigger. It'd be less work. But if I drop it exactly there, it should be... And we'll double check in just a second before I start making this hole. Should be right on top of those other safes. And then that would mean that we're good to go. Right? We could probably get one more. We can probably get one more easy safe. A circumcised penis is penis too. So Chad is asking if I'm circumcised or not. Is that what is that what Chad is asking now? O okay. 
Um, no. All right, all right, all right, all right. So right here, that's where that is. It's close enough, close enough. All right, now let's just sort of, uh, about it rolling Sli not far enough back I didn't even think about the forward backward of it oh, that would have been bad okay everyone's talking about dicks yeah it's because people are talking about cyberpunk um, it's been getting okay grades I don't know. Um, like I said, if chat's not interested in watching it, then I'm not interested in streaming it. Like, it's one of those games that just looks like a very expensive AAA game. And that's fine. But... It's got a 9 out of 10. Okay, cool. Good. I thought it was getting, like, 6s. Um, the, the ratings I had seen were pretty low. Yeah, it's uh, it's out. It came out today. It has like two sevens right now. Okay. I thought it. Yeah, I thought everyone was rating it. It's like, eh, it's kind of meh, you know. There's no bug snacks. Well, bug snacks is just good, you know. Bug snacks, I get why people wanted me to stream it now, you know. All right. It's one of those times where it's like probably leaving money on the table by not streaming it. It's probably a bad decision, but whatever. I'm not going to pretend like I'm interested in playing that game. I'll be real. I'm really not. Cool. Perfect. All right. Everything is loaded up into the one spot that it needs to be. The one issue is that... Um, the water is down a floor. That might be hard. Let's go check on where the other ones are. We also need to have an escape mechanism set up. Probably means a car. We need a car down here. We might want to bring it down a floor. Like we could just bring the whole situation down a floor. I don't have to try and yeet it out a window. I've definitely done jobs a lot cleaner than this before, but you know, whatever, you know, whatever. I've done some cleaner jobs. That's bad car sounds. Okay. Now, hold up. Is that really the, the bugbear? Is this going to be the problem? Is the grass... There we go. We 
I mean, the Jeep might be faster. Today on Exceedingly Bad Plans. How? Oh, money. Oh, shit. There we go. Cool. Good. Yeah, it's good that the safes are bomb-proof. Not waterproof, but bomb-proof. That's, that's good. It would be a shame if something happened to the safes. It's a really bad safe design. Alright, so... Alright. So, now... We gotta find a way to get these outside. Now, I've got a solution for that, and it's a bomb. Backblast on that one. All right. Cool. Go ahead and turn this stuff out of the way. Kind of a stupid idea just formed in my head. It's usually how my thoughts work. But, what if... What if I attach the back of the, the sports car to the safes? I'm just going to give this a quick save. Alright. Plank. Connect all of them up. Alright. And then... Hmm. This is going to be difficult, because it'll be heavy. It's like three safes tied together with a piece of fucking plank is gonna be a difficult thing to move and not the best way of doing it. But hey, not the best way of doing it is um, my fucking motto. What could possibly go wrong? So there's an issue, but easily solved. Go ahead and just bonk to bonk and then Okay. <laughs> All right, that didn't work. All right, different car. Hey, Natalie. Alright. There we go. This thing's got a little bit more torque. Oops.
I could put the smaller jeeps in or smaller safes in here, but do I need to? Are we allowed to backseat this game? I'd prefer if y'all didn't. Um, but I think I've got it. You know what? I'm so confident I'm going to do a quick save. Okay. That, but I use the shotgun. Alright, shotgun needs to be out. Yeah. And then where's the exit? Right there. Alright. What GPU do you have? It's a older one. I don't remember off the top of my head. It's uh it should be down in the description of uh my Twitch thing. It's not a I don't think it's a Yeah, it's it's not that great. 980. I intended on upgrading to the new cool thing. Is it the 1080? That's the cool new one. But uh why is this not working now? Interesting. Okay. The 380? Yeah. Uh, I intended on getting that, but then I got in a car accident, and then we said we needed to move because uh, Grover Apartment sucks. All right. The 1080 is like four years old at this point. Yeah, that sounds right. All right, let's go ahead and save. What a shit. Could probably do that slightly faster even. The escape on that one was pretty lenient just because I had a good solution. And I could have gotten the other three, but it would have been forever to do it. You know? And I don't think people want to watch that. You know? Oh, wait. I just loaded the save shit. Rather than continuing. Oh, no. Fuck. Uh, all right, well, let's get the shotgun out at least. Shit, that one's not in? Why is that not counting? Okay. This is worse than last attempt. good I feel like I could have probably like cobbled that together to get you know a real clean move but uh, you know I don't know all of the villa missions suck let's be real you know they're a fucking pain in the dick There has been yet another break-in in Lockley County. This time, the victim was Gordon Wu. 
The perpetrators managed to steal multiple of Mr. Wu's personal safes. No, I didn't really steal them. And that's not really how I got them out the window. It's very unlikely that they will be able to open them. They're just kind of in the pool. I didn't really... I mean, if you had enough time, you could open any safe. Like, if you got enough time and you have, like, the know-how, you could open anything. But, you know. Ooh. Shit, that's heavy. You know what's not heavy? Something that doesn't exist. Just saying. All right, cool. Strong now. Lifted that a lot easier. I got some money, so I should probably spend it on things. What do I even have left to upgrade? The rocket launcher could be good. All right, let's do that. Messages. Full stop. That little brat hit me again. You won't believe the mess I came home to. I'm going to take... the weeks to clean up and the insurance company won't even pick up the phone i've had it with lee it's time to show him not to mess with the big boys the chemical plant is lee's life i don't put her out of operation the power plant is the heart of the whole facility and i want it gone it's a sturdy beast i'll provide you with the proper firepower to take out the main generator for good also take out the auxiliary power and the plant should shut down for a long time cool I'm working both sides. Yeah, I'm on both sides of this. And also on the insurance side, and also on the police's side. Okay, real quick. A really big bomb. Alright, well, let's open the doors up real quick. Oh. <laughs> sure. Alright, where's the escape? Let's figure out the basics. There's the bomb. It is also the escape vehicle. That's how I leave? Oh, I'm gonna have to drag that. Ooh. I see. Where are the other... Oh, oh my god! There's a whole other side of this map? Oh no. Go through the trees or something? How does that work? I didn't even realize there's another side to this map. Alright. Oh, you're you're actually trying to stop me. I see. Well, gun. Now will you open? Now will you open? Yeah, you don't exist anymore. All right, cool. Open. It's not even in this room. I'm in the completely wrong room. I broke into this room for no reason. There could have been valuables in there. Does this have a security system on it? Why did you put a security system on your auxiliary generator? Why would you do that? You know what? They've been getting, like going into like uh, a weird breaking off this whole time so I don't blame them I'll be real I don't have to worry about it getting wet or anything it's nice all right well, it's before we drag this too far, let's see where the other ones are. Because maybe we can drag them as well. Oh, right. I took down this tower. Yeah, that was a thing I did. Oh, they're trying to rebuild it. That's cute. All right. Is this all explosives? Where's the... What am I looking for here? Back here somewhere. That looks like explosives there. 
So does that. Oh, it's up. Huh. Okay. Go upstairs. What are, what's the definition of an agent of uh, chaos? Quick save real quick. Okay. And let me guess. If this, um... Oh. Huh. Alright. That looks like something I'll have to shoot. Sure. Okay. So... If I can get a few of these a little bit closer to each other, then maybe we could do like a... I don't know. Let's see what the, the main generator thing over here, the, the main mission stuff, looks like. Okay, so a few of these we're just going to have to shoot. There's there's no moving this. All right. So how much does it need to be destroyed? Is it like a like I can just uh Okay, that'll work. So I don't I don't really need to do anything more than just set up a bomb. Just sneeze on it. A little bit of a destruction. Alright, that's pretty straightforward then. Then I can come through here and shoot that and shoot that and then I don't know where we're at on time. So what's what's this one? If I could get a clear line of sight on all of these, like, targets and just do sniper fire with the pistol, that might be good. Yeah, how does the big bomb work? That's a good question, too. Okay. Where is it? It's in this building that I'm trying to get into here. Right. Again, is a... Uh... Oh, I just missed. Ha! Huh. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and restart the mission, because I feel like I need my pistol. Alright, and also I want to check this. So, first off, dick. Oh, man, that... The ever-elusive three-cock... Three-balled cock. That is... That is interesting. All right. Huh. Uh. Okay, uh, so how do I make it blow? It won't explode until it's in its place or you activate it with O? Okay, so it needs to go to a specific spot in order for it to work. I see. I mean, yeah, at least it's not going to randomly go off. That's a good thing to know. And, uh, it has to be in place to detonate. Okay. Uh, 
I mean... Alright, got an idea. While I'm here, I'm just gonna... Cool, now I can get in there easy. I don't think it's possible for me to, like, sharpshooter this shit. You can carry it by hand? Are you, uh... Are you for reals? Yeah, it's heavy, though. This will take less time. Alright. Go down there. There we go. This should be much faster. And there's no chance of it detonating, which is weird. Just swing this bomb around like whatever. I've done everything I can to make it explode, so it dinging against something should not do anything. Alright, so where do I need it to go? I need it to go... Probably somewhere over there. Whatever, I guess. That's fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Minor structural damage, but it's fine. The bomb is okay. I'm okay. It's fine. Just uh, climb up this little thing and then just drag it its last little bit. I assume that it needs to go on top of that. Think of the one, two, three, four, five hundred bits, Helix Snake. I beat your track record. I got 0 0.1 seconds. Did you uh, post a video on that? I'm curious how you do that. That seems like you just instantly do it. Alright, it's this thing. Um, yeah. Have you checked out the new Tony Hawk game, uh, Helix? Looks good. I fucked up the FOV in the video. I will check this later. I'm curious to what know what you did. Alright, so I can get in and out of this room real fast. What do I need the big bomb for? Where does it even go? Like, can I... I mean, just theoretically. The marked area by the damn turbines. Can I go like, where? where's the thing I'm trying to shoot? Oh, it's up on top of the building. Oh. Oh, probably not then. Not from that angle. But if I destroy some of the building, I could get to it. But that would be difficult to do. The marked location near the turbines. 
Like, it's it's gotta be, like, right there, right? Okay, yeah, I can do that. Does it go up immediately once I do this? That's kind of important. We'll see. Shit. Oh. Ah, shit. Okay. Up you go. Up you go. There we go. Just go ahead and, uh, yep, and then, oop, don't know what I expected. All right. How do I explain Doge coins to my parents? You don't because they're not relevant to anyone at all? Why do you need to explain Doge coins? Did you buy a bunch? They asked. Oh, uh... You're gonna have to explain cryptocurrency to them. Can you explain the Doge meme? I mean, you got your work cut out for you. Crypto coins are one of those things that I wish I'd invested in when they were actually worth something, rather than now when they're basically a meme. And people are like, yeah, but, you know, it's controlled by us and not them. It's like, oh, oh, okay, well, you're still burning through a whole shit ton of electricity to get it, you know? How do crypto coins work, or how do bit Doge coins work? They are different because they have a different system but basically they're the same I think I don't know things man why do you want me to know things knowing things is like a professor's job or some shit not my job my job is to play video games define in place game do you want me to drag it all the way around hmm Okay, hold on now. Cool. This is definitely not the way you were supposed to do this. Oh shit, I probably shouldn't be here. I wonder how big of an explosion it is. Just test run this. Oh, shit. Hmm. I see. Yeah, you should not let your family fuck around with cryptocurrency. The time has passed for it to be relevant to anyone. Alright, so that goes off without any real issues, which means that I need to find a way to get all of this together. I don't recommend blowing up dams. No, no, I don't think that's a good idea either. I'm about to do something kind of stupid, but I want to have the freedom to do so. Without judgment and without consequences. Alright. Nice. Now, the bit that it wants me to destroy, is it that bit up there? Like, is it just going to be a as simple as, like... Yeah, okay. And then gun. Where's gun? 
So it's not that bit down there. It's literally the top bit. I see. So I need a clear line of sight on that. Which means that I need a clear line of sight on that. Now, can I, from here... Where the fuck am I aiming? Okay, I'm missing entirely. Where am I hitting? I almost hit it. Nice. All right, so I could easily go bang, bang. Or... Let's see. I could, uh, I could just, all right, ideas forming in my head. I liked what I was doing there, but it was a little, a little difficult. So what if I, from over here, I go bang and then start running. I start running and then I go Can I even hit that angle? Where is it? You can unfortunately, yeah, if you had C4 you could make this really easy, but unfortunately the C4 has like a timer to it. So just like All right, so what if... Cool. Alright, so instead of shooting from here to there, I need to shoot from there. Alright, thank you for the uh, seven months of support, Slapper Pal. Alright, save, uh, blow this, start running. Start running, start running, start running. Um,. Shoot that, turn, shoot that, turn. I need to make it easy to be able to take out the next couple. So that means that I need to be able to go through this wall relatively easily. I mean. The chances this kills me. Incredibly low, it turns out. Shotgun. Alright, cool. So I'm in. That's good. Let me just sort of drag this thing over here. Could I snipe it from the tallest tower? Either way, I have to go over there to set the bomb. Okay, that's good enough. How many resources would it take to tear up that wall of the tower you quick save facing? This one? Uh, a decent amount. You can get rid of the wires without setting off the thing. Yeah, I did that a minute ago. And that was good. 
And I think I should probably do that again, or alternatively, I, uh... I just blow a hole in this wall here. Oh, there's a bookshelf here? Get, get out of here. Alright. So, here it is. Out through here, shoot up. Continue forward. I need this to be straight. So I need to just go through this wall. Which means that I need to, um... I'll put that out in a second. Alright, cool. Then I shoot that. And we probably open this up as well. That might be a problem. Yep. <laughs> that is a problem. Alright, so... And then I just round this corner, and can I... Yeah, okay. Can I do it without having to blow the hole in the wall? It might be risky, especially, like, at this point, but right there is where I want to aim. So let's go ahead and save with that in mind. You can move it over to the bomb and skip having to destroy it yourself. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. I, I skipped destroying one of them by just moving it closer. Alright, shotgun. Alright. I need to make sure that I, like, remember to do all of these, because I very easily could not. There's that one. And then I probably should have a way of hitting that one. Can I do it from the yacht? Is that yacht movable? Can I use that? Because that, that is actually in a pretty good location to hit a lot of these things if I can move it. That was a bad decision. I realized it halfway in the air that I made a bad decision. Yo. I mean, that's pretty easy right there, the way I've got it, but I could make it even easier and just have that whole wall gone. And then where is the yurt? The yurt. Are you drivable? You are. Okay. Interesting. Okay, hold up. I could do several drive-bys here. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I could. I could bore a hole through this, bring this over there, bore a hole into that. This side, actually. Shoot over there. Hmm. And then just go... Uh, hit that, jump in the boat, start driving, shoot that, shoot that. That's awkward. How do I do this less awkward? You probably want to get a faster boat. Is there a faster boat? I don't see a faster boat. It seems to be the fastest boat because it's the only boat.
I don't know which way west is, but... I'm gonna make it face this way. I think that's what you mean. Where are you gonna be standing when this begins? Uh, right above the bomb. Then I'm gonna run over to this thing. Shit. Jump on it real quick and start driving away. Shit. Alright, well... And I think you're right. I need to move the uh, generator over here as well. Oh, shit. Okay, got it. All right. Oh, oh, almost hit that. Okay. Shit. I can see this going real bad here, but... Okay, it's fine. Need to make sure to not wrecking ball swing it into the... Alright. I'm gonna make the assumption that I do not need, uh... That walkway. I kinda also don't need any of this equipment in the way. Never assume, always confirm. Nah. That's why they always say cut twice, measure once. Problem solved. Right. We can just uh kind of yeet this into the All right, cool. So, do we have a a clear shot to this? Or are we going to be able to actually damage this through the wall? Let's see real quick. So, if I'm on a boat and I shoot here, let's just say that's exactly where it is. It's actually I'll put a little bit of a mark where it is. So it's right there. Might be able to... 
actually blast it once or twice and it not be a problem. Huh. iCarly is being rebooted. I saw that. Um, why? I mean, I guess it's like, you know, it's relevant. It's just YouTubers and shit, right? Before there was YouTube or before, like, YouTube got to where it is now. Like, why not? What's iCarly? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of, like, glossed over that iCarly is a thing again. Just sort of accepted that remake as a thing that was happening in 2020. Isn't everyone from that show an adult now? Yeah, but, like, you know. Why not? Like, I don't... I Carly, but she's a VTuber now. Yeah, sure. Fuck it, man. It's, it's whatever, like, fucking Disney trash, you know? Doesn't matter. Who cares? You're asking about quality? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's a good idea. iCarly is Nickelodeon. Close enough. Whatever. Do you care? Is it really important if it was Nickelodeon or Disney? It's the same vibe. Okay, cool. So that'll work. Alright, uh, and then, uh, so I can just shoot that guy, and then, can I get an angle? Bruh. Is the, oh, that's one of them. I thought I could just go, pew! Oh, for a second there, I thought it was gonna work. Oh, no explosion? Is it, like, not loaded in at that distance? Yeah, I, th I think it's probably not loaded in. So that's not going to work. <laughs> Alright, so... Anyway, I blast... When I come through with the yacht. And then... Would you like a pro gamer tip? Sure. It's basically a uh, backseating, but I don't care right now. truck bridge I mean sure but I got the yacht it's not over there all right well real quick let's uh just so that way we don't have a repeat You just John Woo your way through this mission, everything dies in one bullet. I did something really stupid. I dragged the pickup truck through the water with the big boat and then picked it up with the crane.
Okay, well. Vin stood on the tall work in progress tower and sniped most of the things. So he just like ran up here after he dropped the bomb and then went like Do not do it the Vinny way. The Vinny way doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, I'll be real. He sniped, then detonated the bomb. Do it the Rev way, not the Vin way. Yeah, you're right. Um, I don't like that. I like the run and gun. I like a run and gun here. I think that's more fun, because then I go, like... I don't know. I'm just going to give it a go. I'm just going to give it a raw dog go. How's that sound? We just go in raw. Whatever happens, happens. Sound good? Alright, here we go. Absolutely no planning or thought. We're just going. Kind of forgot to blow one up there. Oh, God, the lag. I kind of forgot what I was doing. Won't the pistol... The pistol will do just the same job, but, like, I need to actually get through, and the pistol has short range, so... Waste of ammo, too. Where's the rocket? This is the sloppiest I've done a mission. There's like so few fucks given in making sure that this mission goes off without a hitch. This mission, man. It could not be any easier. The rockets go through it. I mean, I could have planned that out a lot better. I probably could have had a lot less time to 
Like, there's some bits, like, right here. Watch how long my line just stops. Here, and yeah, there I screwed up for a bit, but, like, over here, when I'm trying to shoot this generator over here... Just hanging out, switching weapons. There we go. There's the shot. All right, now let's go. And then I stopped to blow that wall because I forgot to blow the wall entirely. There's a very easy way to make this mission like 10 seconds, you know? But good enough. Good enough. Oh, new reward. $2,000. Okay. Is there anything left to upgrade? I'm going to probably call it here, but let's go ahead and just upgrade shit because we might as well, right? The rocket launcher is good. It has good utility. The gun. It would have been nice if it had more range. You know? Nah, more bullets. Yeah. It's good for, like, precision shooting. Range would have been better. I don't know. But being able to go, like... Like, it's good for... And then you're in. Right? It's nice. The rocket's really good upgraded. Like, there's just no reason not to use it. I wonder if there's anything over there. I haven't checked over there. There we go. Not really the way I intended to go through that door, but... Is there anything over here? Huh. Oh. Oh. There's a boundary. That's what's over here. Alright. Well, there you go. Now you know. There's just a boundary that keeps you from walking out there. Are the trees invincible? No. Very much not. Ooh, what's that? Little tower. Anything in the tower? Can I start a fire? It's my land. Will the cops show up? Be like, what the fuck are you doing? Fire? No fire. Right, that just burns. It doesn't, like, explode or, like, whatever. Whatever. Uh, I need a box. I need a box. Are you a box? Is it raining? Is the rain gonna keep it from catching fire? This entire forest could catch on fire, right? Okay, just build a little bonfire right here. Blowtorch. No cops being called. Classic arson. Arson's a fun crime that I've never done. Alright, well, I suppose that's where we'll call it for today. It's pretty. 
nice, you know? It's real nice. All right, well. That's where we'll call it for the night. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this stream and the uh, other <laughs> stream, the tier uh, stream. Let's see if there's any art. Uh, there is one art, and it's referencing our stream from yesterday. Uh, Tilda, my wife, was in chat, and she was talking about how uh, we should get a Roomba. And you can program voices for him, apparently. Um, I'm getting the uh, the art set up. Um, and so she was like, we should get one and make it say Bunger. Like, Bunger. Every time it runs into something. And so Arctic, uh, Arortic has done this little art of how the, the Bunger Roomba would work. It's very good. Bunger. It's good. It's a good game, man. It's a very good game. It's cute. It wouldn't be hard to do, man. You know, a little bit of a spray paint job or whatever. Bunger. Yeah. Easy. Just a burger hat. Like you said. There you go. Uh, anyway, I'm going to go for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys tomorrow with something else. Um, yeah. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I will see you guys later. I'm going to raid someone. I'm going to raid someone off the list of people that people have asked me to raid. I'm not going to raid Pokimane because I'm trying to do this as a thing where I raid people who have less viewers than me. Not more. You know, to, you know, help people out. So, um, yeah, we'll do uh, tapioca, I guess. Sounds good. I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't know who that is, but there you go. See you guys later. Brrr.